deal with airplane peanuts. How's it going? Two weeks of original comedy specials. What are they talking about? I'm so motherfucking I can't remember. All recorded live. Killing it. At Netflix is a joke, the festival. Now we gotta pay for this twice? Best of the fast. Today is Monday, August 1st. And Netflix is entering the compilation game, baby. Coming into our arena, stepping on our toes, on our turf, making best of moments for the Netflix is a Joke Comedy Festival. And look, you know me. I appreciate a good compilation. I love a good best of funniest moments. As much as the next guy. Probably more than the next guy. But Netflix stinks at it. And if you watch this video, I'll tell you why. But first, let me welcome you back to the Joke World Comedy Update. Every single Monday, bring you the comedy news that you need to know from your favorite comedians, your favorite podcasts, new specials, new shows. If a comedian gets assaulted on stage, we're covering it all for you every single Monday. So please consider subscribing to Joke World right now, downloading this episode on Spotify, and turning on those post notifications to support the channel. So this was a best of Netflix is a joke festival, which took place in May. And then ever since then, they've been releasing these uh, specials, they call them basically once a week. A lot of our news updates in the past have been about these. And this is just a best of those moments. So they had the Bill Burr Friends Who Kill. They had the Hall of Fame thing that they did last week. They had the Snoop Dogg and Friends special, the Pete Davidson and Friends special. Then they had a David Letterman, My Next Guest segment. And this was an hour long of like all the funniest, best bits, best stand up moments from all of those specials combined into one thing. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you know how compilations work, but this was one just from that festival. Now, we've discussed this festival a lot on the Comedy News Update. I've honestly thought it was a little lazy for them to charge money for people to attend this festival, then record everything in one take and release it out all year long. But then I started to think, oh, you know what? That is actually kind of cool, I guess. You know, they're making the most of the opportunities that they have to have all these great comics working in this one festival and then, you know, releasing more comedy on Netflix. There's nothing wrong with that. I thought it was a little lazy at first, but the more I thought about it, the more I, I appreciate what they're doing. This best of moments though is, is kind of trash. Honestly, it's, um, there's some good, I wrote down some timestamps. So it starts off with Bill Burr, him, him doing some stand up at the Bill Burr and Friends uh, show, which we did a whole video discussing that. Then the next watchable moment is when Sam Morell is on at seven minutes and 30 seconds. So I'd watch the Bill Burr, then skip right to 730. And then after that, go to 1820, which is when Brian Robinson's on stage. And then it's just slow as molasses until Christina P gets up at 4610. In between there is just stuff that you don't, I don't, I don't even know. You don't need to see, <laughs> or I don't know, whatever, do whatever you want. But those were the funny parts. So if you're watching it and you're like, this sucks, go to those timestamps and uh, you should be good. Netflix also released a real special this week from Whitney Cummings titled jokes. Uh, that's what it's called. Whitney Cummings jokes. I like the name simple, right to the point. This is what Netflix has to say about it. Whitney gets personal about sex injuries and dating younger men, spills on her online photo leak, and is nostalgic about life before social media. So all pretty mainstream, you know, generic topics. It was a fine special. I watched it, you know, it had its moments both ways. It had some good and bad moments. I'm not like a Whitney hater. I feel like a lot of people are very anti-Whitney on the internet. I'm not a fan and I'm not uh, anti-Whitney. I am just, I know nothing about her, but this was fine. I mean... I will have a few takeaways. One is like there are more applause breaks, I think, than like big laughter breaks, um, which I don't necessarily think is a great thing if you're making people laugh at, you know, the points that you're saying more than laughing at, at your jokes. Seems more of kind of like a speech, but whatever. The other thing I'll say about the special versus Whitney in general is like I enjoyed watching her, I think, more on podcasts this week because she went on God knows how many podcasts this week. I thought it was more... Uh, entertaining and uh, comical to see her on the pods than in this special. My screen just went out for the first time in a while. That's pretty funny, um, but not quite as funny as Whitney's special. Or It's about the same funniness, I would say. So go check that out if you want. We're here with the one and only Whitney Cummings. Hey! Okay. Thank you. Uh, Whitney's got a special. It's out right now. Netflix, we're going to check it out right now. Okay. No, actually, Andrew just bought it. 
Oh, nice. I bought the special. You bought it back from her? It was buy one, get one free. Exactly what happened. You get Whitney's special. If you buy my special, you also get Whitney's special if you just log into Netflix and watch that shit. Uh, I'm so stoked that you're here. Thank you so much for coming. I love you. You're amazing. I love you so much. And for those of you that think I'm the trans porn star that was on a couple episodes ago, I'm not. Damn it. I'm not. I can tell because like, Alex is less attracted to you. <laughs> <laughs> but he did wear his nail polish, so. <laughs> Come on, I came, I came in fitting for Can we today. get an honest opinion on this? Uh, I think it's sexy. Oh, oh stop, gosh, Whitney. Yeah. Talking about? But I feel like you didn't paint the one that would go into a pussy. Because <laughs> <Like the laughs> well, he doesn't need that. Some is painted dark. <laughs> <laughs> The guest list is where we go through some of the main podcasts from last week to make sure that you don't miss any appearances by some of your favorite comedians on your favorite shows. So to start off, your mom's house did not have a guest. Two Bears, One Cave was good old Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. The Joe Rogan experience had on Whitney Cummings. Joey Diaz was on The Honeydew last week. This past weekend with Theo Vaughn did not have a guest. Whitney Cummings was also on Tiger Belly with Bobby Lee and Kalila. Bobby comes home and he has a picture next to a guy who's towering over him. And he goes, who's this, Kalila? Who did oh, I take a picture no. with? And it's uh, Blake, Blake Griffin. Griffin. And I was By the like, way, who is? Great guy. So funny. It's <laughs> Yeah, annoying. so funny. Yeah, yeah. No, but like did stand up at Montreal and was hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Like he's legitimately hilarious. I just, with Blake Griffin though, because he's he was, he was, he's always around. I, I don't care. I, I know that he'll crush me, but I'm just saying that <laughs> I, he, he'll destroy me. But I just, I just never got a sense that he liked me. Like, mm -hmm. like, because I see him with other comics and sure. ass playing in this. Why set. did you take a picture with him? And who did you think he was? Stevie Oki. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Boom. Yep. Call back. What? No, I thought. What's up? What's up? AC. No, I thought he was. Um, well, uh, just a tall comedian from New York. <laughs> a tall light. As if comedian. tall men have to become comedians. <laughs> I'm just, no, you know, because there's there's ones like Gary Goldman, they're tall. There's one. Gary Goldman? Yeah, and he's, uh, his whole thing is I can't stop taking antidepressants. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey Ginger had on Andrew Schultz and Bad Friends had on Will Sasso. Hey, it's really good to be here. Will Sasso and Chad Culture from the Dudesy Podcast. <laughs> At Dudesy Pod Show on all your socials. Of course, check us out on YouTube, Spotify, Apple iTunes, Spotify, iTunes, wherever you get your podcast. Hey, I'm sitting across from a couple of really good friends here in podcast world. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's nothing funnier so than talented. like being meta and making fun of a thing you do. You guys. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody. Yeah. Oh, you know what am I, a podcast guy? Yeah. Yep. Hey, you know what Literally, I thought? Literally. You know what are. I started doing? We're pod I like when people we make yeah. fun of podcasts. Like, oh, it's so yeah. lame. It's the thing we do. Yeah. Right. So we're like, on a podcast hey, guys, hey, we're sitting, I'm sitting over here. Podcast. You're sitting over there. That color, this wall, that color, that wall. <laughs> hey, logo. <laughs> looks like us. Kind of does not kind of does. Hey, we're rab, rab, rabble. You put the chopper thing into the glass. Chris Rock. Yep. That's, He's good. That, that is was good, dead, Chris Rock. Uh, I thought it was Denzel at first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's definitely Chris Rock. Let me hear it. Do another Chris Rock. Why does Rock? it have to be a black? Put the drink into the drink and get sleepy. Oh, Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Nancy Pelosi. Is Nailed that Nancy it. Pelosi? I think yep. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Specials last week, we had Whitney Cummings and jokes that we already talked about. Go check that one out if it interests you. And then a few weeks ago, Paul Verzi came out with Natural Admissions. That's also on Netflix. We have not talked about that one yet, but it's pretty funny. Go check that one out. Those are two that, you know, if you're looking to get into a special, those are kind of new. Other than that, this has been another episode of the Joke World Comedy Update. Every single Monday, bring you the comedy news. So please, again, subscribe and like and, you know, comment for the algorithm. Do all the cool YouTube stuff that, you know, you would want done on your channel. Thank you for watching, though. I don't know how to end these, dude. Just, you know, fucking thanks.